So we've got a new update for Farming Simulator 22. And guys, there's a lot to go over here. So by the time you are watching this video, there should be an update for Farming Simulator 22. Now this update includes a whole bunch of stuff from fixes to various various bugs and various features. We're actually getting some new features as well for Farming Simulator 22. And with the cherry on top of all this, we're getting a bunch of new equipment directly from Giants. Now we all know there might have been some equipment missing from base game. There's been some stuff that was nice to have in there, but there might have been a few things that was kind of omitted, missed, just to say the least. Now, before we get into all the updates and new equipment, guys, just make sure you guys go down to the bottom, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new updates. And of course, come join us for one of our live streams or you know, role play videos where we kind of mess with farm sim and see if we can break it. If anyone can break it, it's, it's this guy. So come on, join us for all that stuff. So for new equipment, yes, that's right. The case, Steiger, Quad Track, the Road Track, and the Wheeled AFS Connect all make their return to Farming Simulator 22. Oh, it's been a long time coming. So on top of those three, we also get another 13. There's 16 new pieces of equipment in total. Also, we're getting a new Kong slide. We're getting a new Crone. We're getting a lot of new stuff with this pack. So 16 new pieces of equipment have been added into Farming Simulator 22. And might I add, this update is completely for free for all platforms. Now, the equipment itself is fantastic to hear, but I mean, this is an update patch that fixes a lot of issues and it adds in more things as well. There's a couple extra things we need to talk about that they're adding in. We actually get some new placeables as well. Now, these include a new mobile home. We get a new barn and an option for what they're calling a free placement, which allows for more dynamic farm building. I'm assuming this is going to be like the place anywhere type mod, maybe with some limitations. We'll have to wait and see on this one. Let me know how this one works out for you. Now, also included in this is more intelligible menus for fields now showing yield potential and also the recommended tool for removing certain weeds we know there's been some issues with either pulling a weeder or spraying weeds on what to use and how many times you have to anyways supposedly this has all been taken care of with this update so we now no longer have to worry so much about this it should be able to give you some recommendations on how to get rid of weeds and man do i hate weeds now let's get into the meat and potatoes of all, of all this is that a farming joke meat and meat and potatoes a joke right yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but really we have a lot of updates to go through here a lot of things fixed and things that have been added in let's start off with well some of the big fixes guys i'm gonna go through my list of things that i think are probably more important number one contracts contracts have been fixed first of all contracts recommending the wrong tools for the job that has been taken care of and secondly contracts not being able to be finished also updated so hopefully you no longer get there to 99% and being stuck and not being able to finish that contract. So that's been repair repaired and fixed as well. Kind of an interesting one that I saw a couple of times actually were the ridge markers on certain planters and cedars. Well, they're no longer dig up stones, which was always kind of weird for me. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. A fairly substantial update for the AI workers now. So they cost a little bit less. Also, they are able to work with the plows a little bit better and more properly. They actually switch sides properly now. And lastly, they uh, no longer get paid when you pause the game i didn't know that was a, was a problem <laughs> oh man that could that could cost you a lot of cash it's the easiest job in the world seasonal cycles are also getting an update here as well uh changing the number of days there's a problem with that that i didn't even know was a problem to be perfectly honest also though the big thing with the seasonal cycles is the fluctuation display for pricing inside your menu system this will now show the actual price history for the last 12 months where currently or before the update, it was all over the place and you, it didn't make any sense. It was irrelevant. Now that's been updated to actually work properly. Just note though, it's, it's not a forecast for what the price will be. That is a history. So just take that in a note. We always took it as kind of a forecast of where your prices are going to be for each of your different products when you sell them. It's actually a history for the past 12 months. So you can kind of judge where the prices were last year for that product. Also on top of that for seasonal cycles, it's fixing the bug where your forecast would show indefinite rain or snow. So just know that that's being taken care of as well. Also on PC, if you are using DLSS, as far as your graphics uh, capabilities go, just know that that is being taken care of as well. So you'll no longer get ghosting or hopefully the laser beams from the taillights. 
that's going to be a nice little added feature. I mean, if you like to farm at night, at least that should fix some of the uh, the graphical issues if you're using DLSS. Another huge update is for dual axle vehicles, most notably semi trucks, of course, is what we're talking about here. And the traction issue that many of you have noticed that has been fixed as well. So hopefully we no longer have any issues with, uh, well, our Mac anthems, our superliners getting stuck on this, the tiniest of slopes. So that there is a huge fix. And speaking of which, manual transmissions uh, has also been updated on uh, numerous different tractors out there. Of course, we do need to mention the game crash while using the bag lifter has also been fixed up. And pricing for used vehicles as well as repair costs have also been appropriately adjusted. I'm assuming the used vehicle prices will actually go up and I'm assuming the repair costs will actually go down. Not sure. I'm hoping that's what it is. It seems like those would be the adequate ways of moving the prices on that but they just say adjusted, so I don't know 100% right now. So now let's move into the new features quickly. We have a couple new things to talk about, and we've talked about this a little bit already. As far as our new equipment, we've got the mobile home, we've got the old barn, the placement of placeables options there. Those are some very nice and cool updates to have. Now, on top of that, we're also getting the availability to remove buildings on all four of the farms on Elm Creek. Oh man, I've always, I've wanted this from the start. So being able to remove all the buildings now on each of those farms, that's going to be so much better. Another new update guys is for an option for higher fuel usage. So hopefully now we'll actually use our fuel faster than our vehicles will get damaged. I mean, I know we crash into things at times, but man, come on, that fuel's got to come down faster than we damage something. That only makes sense. And they are still working on some known issues. It sounds like we've got some random crashing when using AI workers. Uh, random exploding trees when cutting down certain trees with some graphical glitches. I haven't seen that yet. I want to see that. Also, uh, random cr problems for Xbox when entering the shop. Rare issue where the game cannot be saved on Xbox. And contract bonus yield is too high. They want to fix that. Not yet, though. It sounds like that's still something that's going to be on the works to be fixed. Now, as far as things that I didn't mention at all on these lists, of course, if you want the whole list, check out their blog over on the website. Um, but I didn't hear anything about production chains being repaired, where if you sell them off, you can still utilize them. It sounds like that is not on that list anywhere. I'm not even sure if they're aware of that yet. We might have to put something in about that. Uh, I know what's happened to quite a few of you guys. So hopefully that's something that gets fixed because that kind of wrecks things at times, just to say the least. So this update, like I said, is for all platforms. Once again, version 1.2 of Farming Simulator 22 is available on all platforms. And all you need to do simply, if you are connected to the internet and you hit launch Farming Simulator 22, it should automatically update your title for you. And of course, go down to the bottom of the description. Make sure you uh, vote on what you think is the biggest update with that came along with this update. Which is the biggest update that came along with this update? Let me know down in the comments uh, which one you think it was. Of course, do a vote down in the description. Click the link which votes on that one. And we'll see which one you guys think is the biggest update to the update. You guys know what I mean. Other than that, folks, hope you have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and maybe go check out a video on, well, what we think are the best features of Farming Simulator 22 right here. Other than that, folks, have a great day. And we'll see you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.